Hello, and welcome to a video that's a bit different to um, stuff I usually do. Uh, mainly because this wasn't really a planned video, I just happened to pick it up and thought, eh, this would make an interesting uh, thing to show some people. So anyway, as we can see here, we have what looks like a small Lego set. But, if we look there, it's actually Peachy, or Peachy, or however it is you pronounce that. Um, they are... As you can tell, a company that makes compatible bricks, um, compatible meaning that it can work with Lego, or supposedly, I don't know. Uh, some of these sets sometimes have different connecting pieces and stuff. Um, but, you know, my, my knowledge of bootleg Lego stuff is not great. Anyway, as we can see, this is the Star Pioneer set, uh, as denoted by the guy who's uh, in the stars being a pioneer. And the artwork there, that's uh, posing him in a position that Lego people can't actually do with their legs played like that. This has 54 pieces, as you can see. And all of the parts are very much, they're just, they're Lego, they're, they're fake Lego. Um, either from like a factory that has blueprints or Lego pieces or wherever, I'm not sure of history. Did look up Peiji online, actually. They have a website and stuff, and they're still selling kits by the look of it. They have planes and boats and things like that. It looks, you know, it looks fine. It sort of, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure that they're not that bad quality, but we'll see in a second, I guess. Um, also, on the back, so we've got, you know, a bit of a bigger picture. Oh, he's in space. Ooh, something's shooting at him. Oh, look. It's another completely original design that is not in any way ripped off from anything. I do, I do kind of love that. Not only is, not only have they just ripped off Tie Fighter art, but they didn't get, they didn't, didn't even bother with like getting the Lego Tie Fighter. They just got this Tie Fighter, like completely ripped off. This is concept art from somewhere, and also like scale wise, it looks like sort of. It's not that far off. It looks like he's about the size of like half its wing, which is a bit weird. There's also like another set there covered by a sticker. I started peeling it off, but didn't want to damage the box in case this is worth millions one day, because it will be. Anyway, um, that's about it really. I just want to show you the Toy Fighter, and you know the box is is fine. It's kind of thin cardboard, but anyway, yeah. If um, I don't know where you'd usually get these. I managed to get it in an amusement arcade by getting loads of tickets and then after a while realising I'd actually have to spend those tickets or just give them to someone. So I thought, eh, why not get some fake Lego? Um, right, well, there's nothing much more to say. I will go off and build it and I'll be right back. I am back and, honestly, uh, quite confused because this turned out to be a really good kit actually um yeah i mean as you can see it's obviously compares to the box perfectly it sort of that i guess comes over a bit more but whatever um as you can see it comes with the instruction manual that's just as comprehensive really as you usually get with like lego admittedly on one piece of paper um but you know that's nothing wrong with that um but yeah i mean all of the plastic is like it's fine it's it's super it's basically lego sort of quality i'd say maybe a little less sort of i had to um had a bit of trouble with one or two of the um of the uh two uh two brick kind of things but I mean, even they, you know, after a bit of coaxing, sort of would fit on. And yeah, the ship itself is pretty cool. The antenna thing is a bit weird, and the hinges maybe are a bit like not the strongest, but well, I mean, I'm just going to display him really, so you know, I don't really care about that. I mean, if I really had to nitpick, these are only stuck on by um, one set of two, rather than two, so they are easier to come off sometimes. But eh, that's not a problem. Now, I will say, the weakest part of this, possibly, is the minifig. Uh, first of all, as you can see, the back of his legs are weird. It's probably cost-cutting or whatever. Um, also, his hands look a bit odd. Actually, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back uh, with an official Lego minifig as well. 
just to compare. So as you can see, the hands don't actually look that odd compared. Um, they do feel a little flimsier. Uh, also, I'm not going to lie, his face isn't the best. Uh, yeah. Um, no, he's dead. No, he's cool. Um, well, everything survived the fall, and he didn't even seem damaged. Yeah, as you can see, um, I'm assuming that's goggles he's meant to be wearing. Uh, actually, does it? Oh, well, that's a bit different. But anyway, I mean, I don't care. It's not really the minifig I got it for. I mean, in terms of quality, he's not bad. Um, you know. Obviously doesn't quite stand up to official uh, standards, but then, you know, for a bootleg that cost me, I think, the equivalent of £3, it's not bad. Printing's alright. Looks a little off, maybe. It's a bit too much to the right, I think. Uh, don't, I'm assuming that's meant to be, like... Don't even... Is that the outline of a pocket that's, like, not printed hooli? No back printing, and obviously no back head printing. Um, right, okay. I think, um... Another problem may be, actually, that his helmet fit a bit too snug on this. And now we have this problem. Which is fine, because I wasn't going to take his helmet off ever anyway. But yeah, no. So, wow, that's almost anticlimactic. I was expecting some really bad things, or maybe it did come missing like eight different pieces or something, but no, this is actually a solid Lego kit. Um, so if you ever come across this and want some, maybe something like add to some mocks you're making or ever, maybe pick it up. It's pretty fun. It's, um, yeah, it's a lot better than I thought it was, that. Maybe that's disappointed some of you. I know it's certainly shaken my faith in uh, the fake Lego industry. Um, right, well, thanks for watching. And also, as a bit of a hint, I may be making another video about some bootleg Lego stuff soon. Won't tell you what it is, but stay tuned.